According to data from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, Kenya imported 2 million tons of clinker last year, up from 1.81 million tons in 2019, setting a new high for Kenya and in the process costing the country 8.65 billion shillings, up from the 8.38 billion shillings spent in the previous year. Kenya could, however, save a lot if a total ban on importation of clinker, a key raw material in the manufacturing of cement, was introduced. Currently, Kenya boasts of four local clinker production plants run by the National Cement and Mombasa Cement Plants, with a combined annual capacity of about 8 million tons, which, when contrasted with the annual clinker imports of under 2 million tons, in the last five years means that Kenya can comfortably survive on locally manufactured clinker. Several local farms have further announced plans to expand their clinker capacities by 2023, which will send production capacity to 10.7 million tons, further adding to the idle capacity. According to a study by the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, the average cost of imported clinker last year was 11,000 shillings per ton, while factory prices for locally produced clinker ranged between 5,000 shillings and 9,000 shillings per ton. The continued importation of clinker leaves the country's cement pricing model pegged on the imported raw material, making local prices prone to arise whenever import duty is increased. According to the industry players, Kenya's missing link is that it takes a lot of time to pass policies saying that it is ridiculous for the country to continue importing commodity while there is sufficient clinker in the country. In 2018, during a commissioning of a clinker manufacturing plant in Kajiado County, President Uru Kenyatta noted that his administration would work towards reducing importation of the product in the country. But three years on, the commodity still accounts for a huge chunk of Kenya's bulk imports, costing the country $100 million in foreign exchange annually. This comes amid a weakening Kenyan shilling that hit a nine-month low of 110 shillings against the dollar last week, putting the local currency under the immense pressure. And to secure the jobs and skills that our sons and daughters need to become self-reliant and prosperous, the basis is to build new industries such as these and to revitalize those that have fallen below the standards that Kenyans rightly expect. And clinker is one of the major imports that we have as a country. And what you have seen today here demonstrates the transformation that we can do for our cement sector. And we're looking forward to working with other sectors to do something similar to reduce the amount of import bill that we have. Apart from banning clinker importation, raising the duty for imported clinker from the current 10 to 25 percent has further been mooted with the Kenya Association of Manufacturers saying that no final decision on clinker import duty has been made yet. Martin Opio, K24 Business.